What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this video isn't going to be very interesting. It's just going to be me kind of going over some plans I have for this vehicle. Kind of some stuff happening here soon. Some stuff happening like a few months down the road, maybe even a year. So this is just going to be something like a real brief little video. Um, I made a list real quick and um, we're just going to go off of that. So um, the two top priorities I have for this vehicle like that are bigger than just normal basic stuff like trim and stuff is air conditioning which i've already been talking with some people at work that uh have taken their cars places some people have recommended me go here some people recommend me going here but there's this older guy i've been talking to which he recently you know, took his vehicles there and he actually knows the people so um that's in the makes of already getting figured out and here soon it's not like a major thing but an alignment will be done soon um, since i lowered the front more previously uh, it kind of pulls more to the right and i just haven't had a day off or any time to just go spend two hours at alignment shop waiting for them so that's in the mix as well it's just whenever i get a day to do it i will but i uh i categor categorize this um, little list into like exterior interior and then like stuff down the road so we'll go ahead and start with the exterior let's go ahead and take a step outside this list is not in any particular order it's just kind of me winging it and making a list first thing i have is just new weather stripping all around the car and um, when i'm driving you can hear a little small uh air leaks and especially in the trunk i need some weather stripping because i do get water leaking in the in the trunk sometimes which is the reason why I um, ripped out all the carpet and ripped everything out because it was just getting soaked and getting nasty. Another thing is, is a uh, paint trim. I need to paint this trim. Um, it's not going to be very hard at all just to take it off. I just, I need to sand it down. Gross. I need to sand it down and just kind of with the same thing I did with this, just go over it with some black paint. Um, and... I need some new windshield uh, wiper nozzles right there. Uh, whenever we did the motor pull, my uh, windshield wiper jug, that little hose that runs through the car, up through the um, hood and up to the nozzles, that is actually like broke. Um, it is so old that whenever I touched it, it, like, it just snapped. So that's another reason why I just haven't put any nozzles on because there's no point until I get a whole new like little kit for it. Um, small stuff like this, like paint, like these little wipers, like I'm going to make these black because when I'm driving, they like blind me when the sun's hitting them. And then as you guys know, I've been wanting to get some center caps, which have been impossible. I want to find the original genuine 99 SI wheel center cap. Um, the only ones I found are like, the, um, are really freaking hard to get They're like $50 a piece. So I've been looking around trying to find a good deal on them center or um lug nuts i want to get some mishimoto lug nuts and then after i get all that i want to take it somewhere and have them refinish all the chrome on the wheel i'm just cleaning everything up i could probably even do it myself and then some new tint this window this top i believe this window and the rear windshield has tint but the other two do not and they're even different this is black and this is like a retro blue with along with that it's a retro blue retro blue so it doesn't even match and it's just i would like to get it peeled off put some brand new tint on it so as far as exterior that's as far as i'm gonna go with it eventually i will need a new tail light because these are pretty old and i even cracked it whenever uh, i was painting the car and like, sanding it down and stuff and then um some honda logos even if i just find like a new little thing right there i would just leave it debadged because i kind of like it it looks pretty clean so <clears throat> that's as far as I'm going to go with exterior. I'm not going to go too crazy. Just kind of clean it up and look, make it look pretty nice. Alrighty. I'm getting that ready for in a second. And then um, the next thing we have is so interior. A few interior things I want to do. It's obviously speakers. You guys saw them. They're like freaking molded and shot. When I listen to music, they just, they don't sound well. Um, I want to get a new I do want to keep this radio because I love the whole Honda, you know, OEM look. I really wish this had a, uh, a cassette tape because then I could just put like a cassette tape uh, aux 
player in there and play my own music, but I do not have that option, so it would just be nice to play my own music. Um, and then let's go take a look at my trunk. And like I said, I ripped all the carpet out and everything because the weather stripping is leaking. Um, I want to get all new carpet for this. First, I would like to degrease it, make it look pretty good, and maybe even paint it. And then maybe just, just black paint would look fine or even just another metallic gray I could use just to make it match everything. Um, after I get all that, I want to do all new carpet in here. And then after that, I would like to get some like wood planks, kind of like some two by fours and just um, measure out every little piece of this trunk and make it fit real good and like stain the wood and make it look really clean, kind of like a truck bed. So, <clears throat> All right, that should be all for back here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And I've talked about this a few times. Um, I would like to, I would like to pull the front two seats out, de-stain them and just vacuum every little piece of this car. And as far as the back seats, I would like to take this um, rear seat out and just vacuum all in there, you know, de-stain all this as well. Let's clean it up. It's I have not cleaned the interior since I got it. Um, I vacuumed it, but as far as de-staining, I haven't touched anything, I haven't sprayed anything on it. So, like I said, I just wanna get this thing really clean. And then um, I would like to get a whole new steering, um, steering wheel. I wanna get like a, kind of to match my trunk, I wanna get like a wood grain steering wheel which would be pretty cool with like a quick release hub. Um, I would also like to get, I have a horn, but I do not have the plug. Whenever I got the car, the guy, he, I think he got in a wreck and that was when that uh, headlight was out, that plug got ripped out as well. So I need to find a plug and kind of tie into the harness and run a whole new plug. So that's that. And then I want to get a whole new sh uh, short shifter and a new boot and stuff. I mean, this is fine how it is, but you know, race car. <laughs> um i want to clean new the headliner it's fine how it is it just kind of needs some more cleaning kind of like with the seats and i need to de-stain and just wipe down some stuff especially like right here and there's some spots up on there um i do need to get a new bulb for that dome light and then um the last little thing i need is um i need to get that window fixed over there still it still falls down by itself and i would like to get a whole new module so it can actually crank up and down whenever I want it to. So as far as exterior and interior, we're gonna keep it real simple. Let's keep it real clean and OEM because I just like how stock Hondas look and uh, they're just cleaner to me that way. I don't like going too crazy with stuff. And after I do some interior and exterior, this is something that's gonna happen here soon. Um, you guys remember my buddy Ethan? He has got that blue Subaru along with that green Del Sol. We looked over it a couple of videos back. Um, me and him are going to do motor, motor pole since we have the same motor. He has a Z6 and I have a uh, D15B. So it's a little bit different, but they're both, uh, still D series and they look the exact same, you know, as far as the um, intake manifold. Uh, cold air intake the hoses the everything everything's the same so whenever we get we both get a weekend off we want to pull the motors um i have a small little oil oil leak on the oil pan so i like to get all new gaskets and just kind of refresh and everything make sure there's no leaks and uh kind of just go through everything while the motor's pulled i would like to degrease the whole bay um i don't think i filmed this a while ago but a while ago i got a new uh cv boot because that one ripped off and i just got grease all over in there and i have st i just wiped it down but there's still like a couple gobs of grease down there um when we did the motor pull when the guy blew it and threw a rod from the previous owner we used the crank pulley that was from the old motor and this motor um see this rig right here this belt or this uh pulley this is a four rig and the crank is a three rig. So this belt kind of shreds itself. And whenever I crank it up on a cold start, you kind of hear a little power steering squeal. So I would like to get a new power steering belt and make sure that they're both four rig pulleys. 
And um, while we have it out, I'm gonna get new motor mounts, probably some 1320 motor mounts. I'm gonna get all new coolant hoses. Um, what else we got? Uh, I do need a new radiator. And um, I would like to take this off and paint it, probably just, you know, black. That would probably look pretty clean. So that's kind of stuff I have in the make that's going to be happening here soon. Um, this is probably going to be something that's going to be happening sooner, pulling the motor and kind of getting everything squared away, make sure everything mechanically is working and looking good, no leaks, you know, stuff like that. And then uh, eventually, after I get everything done, I'd like to get a Skunk 2 intake manifold, a Skunk 2 throttle body. I really like how the colder intake is. I like its stock. I think it looks pretty clean like that. Um, you know, start building the motor eventually. You know, Skunk 2 cam, et cetera, et cetera. Just building the motor, eventually get a tune. Whenever I do all that, I want to get a new trans, a new clutch, a little stronger clutch so it can hold some power. And, um, I want to get this thing tuned and I want it to be all motor. This is not, not going to be anything like crazy, like a boosted Civic. It's just going to be something kind of fun that you can drive around and a little daily grocery getter. <laughs> um, but that's kind of pretty much everything I have planned. I would like to get some strut bars for the front and the rear just so the steering's on point. Sway bars, you know, kind of just clean up the car get the maintenance back up and get it real strong and reliable so i don't have too crazy of plans with this thing it's gonna stay pretty stock and it's gonna be all motor um but she's come a long way and she still has a long way to go so sorry for the boring video but i just kind of want to update you guys on some plans i have for this thing and what's in the making but Probably this week, I will be ordering a crank pulley, a power steering belt, some tools that I'll, I will need to get the crank pulley off. There's like a special socket you can get. Um, that way it doesn't move when you're trying to get it loose. Um, a whole new gasket set. So this weekend or this week, I'm going to be ordering a bunch of stuff, kind of get everything prepared for when I have a long weekend and we have time to just pull the motor and have like just in case anything happens, we have like two or three days to get everything squared away. We'll probably do mine first. That way we can figure everything out and get it done and then do his afterwards. That way we have, you know, we've gone through the process. We know what to look for and um, stuff like that. So I will keep you guys updated on what I order and when I order and when they arrive. So nothing too crazy. Just, you know cleaning her up I want her to be real strong and reliable and I don't want to worry about it but I'm really excited for the AC to be getting done that's probably gonna be the first thing I do before you know ordering all that stuff so like I said I just need a day to go get the AC done I need a day to go get the alignment done I, love, I really like to knock them both out the same day so they're done because those are kind of more priority than you know all this other stuff other than like the oil leak which is, it's so tiny to where I can't even tell it's leaking. But that's all for today, guys. Um, like I said, sorry for a boring video today. We didn't really do anything. I don't have any new parts to put on. I do have new brakes at home, but I've just been waiting to get new braided lines for the brakes, and then I need to get some brake fluid. But like I said, she's getting there. You know, taking it one day at a time. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to call it a night. Go edit this thing real quick and get it out to you guys. And uh, hope you have a wonderful night. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Appreciate it.